It is a relatively peaceful time in the Central Hive. The Central Hive King has decided that Prince Guard A should be the one who is manufacturing the black and chain hive shirts because Prince Guard A has enough skill to make high grade armor and that frees up Drone A to make up some armored rags which are desperately needed for the rest of the squad. The state of affairs might change at some point but it's not changing right now, not in the short term at least. We have one more errand to run with Dusty before we should be thinking, dude, where the hell, <laughs> excuse me? Drone guard B is just in the middle of nowhere. We have one more errand to run with Dusty uh, before we can do stuff. You know, the dangerous stuff. And uh, we also have a new name, which I supposedly Drone Guard B might as well uh, go get. I trust Elite D Drone Guard B to uh, make it to the way station. Does have 22 movement speed, and that can be increased by taking the pants off. Now move at 23 miles per hour. Meanwhile, Dusty is gonna... Oh, I kind of want to take the Garu, but I kind of don't want to take the Garu. I guess Dusty's going to be moving without any extra weight, because I don't want to wait for uh, stuff. There is a Hive Brother that we need to free from captivity. I was reminded of their existence in the comments. And so Dusty will be making another trip to the United Cities. It's a trip Dusty's taken many a time. By many a time, I mean uh, just once. But Dusty does have robot legs. So, well, a robot leg. So, you know. Oh my god, bro. What is this decrepit route? Drone Guard B's taken. Honestly, Drone Guard B. It's very badass, and could probably take out that Swamp Ninja by himself. So the name that we got today is some name based off of the name Neon Green Flashing Lights, which is kind of a lot of text. Um, I'll just double check. I put in the to-do list. Yeah, neon green flashing lights. So I guess this person could be called neon green. It's either that or just like literally just neon. But I think neon green is good. There we go. Welcome to the squad. In case you didn't know, dear viewer, uh, you can have a drone named after you if you just inform me that you want it to be the case all right with that settled i think i can i think i'm gonna yeah man dusty for the rest of this trip dusty's got a trader's vest on now provide a very very small amount of protection without weighing them down too much it's definitely a little bit of a fashion hit, I think. Maybe. I really like how the vests look. But, you know, it is nice to have, at the very least, the harpoon resistance. Of which it is 20 points. It's good. I'm pretty sure that means we just take a flat 20 less damage from harpoons. Which is kind of a lot when you have 75 HP. What's the harpoon resistance on the vest? He's got a shoddy vest. Jesus. Okay, so three points. Dude, Dusty was just going basically naked. Oh, there's a black gorilla. Oh, man. Dusty could really power level pretty quick off this guy without too, too much risk.
Okay, don't know what the hell is happening here. This dude's outrunning Neon Green. Did Neon put on... What's these guys' move speed? 20 miles per hour? Oh, he must have ran directly into the group. Neon probably could fight at one of these guys, but fighting a whole squad of them is dubious at best. Maybe if I was, like, microing super duper hard. But, since I'm doing two journeys at once, I don't want to deal with that level of micromanagement. Alright, I think they're no longer bothering him. Great, there's another gorilla. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, maybe it was ambitious to have two, two trips going on at once. Can this guy fuck off? Bro, cringe. Okay, Dusty, just fucking hide for a moment. We got shit we're doing. Okay, neon green. Punish this fucking guy. Gotta wait till he's out of the water. For neon, what the fuck? There we go. Windshield wiped this bitch. Yes. 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 Fuck them. Nice job. What? Excuse me, bro? So not cool? The laser is already gone. It's kind of, this is an incredibly dicey route. I probably should be doing this. Oh, via uh, going north and through the Deadlands where it's just acid rain that we're completely immune to. Okay, please no laser. Please no laser. I'm just gonna dip into the shithole. Buy him over here. Got Ruins Town. Interesting. Pretty sure they're was a world state for that town. I believe Eleanor in the comments told me about it. I don't remember how you get it though. Are these wounds gonna heal or does Dusty need to bandage up? Probably needs to bandage up. Just get that out of the way. Also it's probably incredibly painful to have like open burn wounds while running at 36 miles per hour. So we need to go to the bar. We're looking for Ray. Oh, here we go. He was a slave. Starting to think I should just cut my losses and make go feet out of his scrawny carcass. Bought him last year and the Creden can't even speak, let alone do what he's goddamn told. Hoy, I need an upgrade fast. Uh, can't talk? I got no tongue. Past owner cut it out. Can be pretty feisty one, so I can't say I blame him for it. I can just picture the bastard giving lip. Probably would have done the same myself, I tell ya. I need to make my money back somehow. Don't care if I gotta make bone meal out of the good for nothing. How do I pay you? Freedom. What the hell do you care about this credence, freedom slave lover? Alright, 1,000. Boom. Welcome, Ray. Alright, Ray. Well, you... In the back pocket. Uh, might as well get a little bit of food. You know, for the road. I just realized we're uh, not doing great on food. <laughs> Meathead drifters. There's probably other other slave hivers that I could free. Potentially. Though, ultimately, the type of hive or slavery that the Central Hive King is most concerned with is the perpetual and ongoing slavery of all the Hivers underneath the Hive Queens. These guys, while it is a little bit tragic, have sort of ended up here of their own volition. So here they shall remain. For now. 
perhaps when the other hives are eliminated, the central hive king's ambition will turn outwards towards all hiver kind to be brought into the fold. That is not today. Hmm. I wonder if I should recruit any of these guys to uh, guard my base, I mean. Let's see, this guy's got nothing. Except a little sake. I mean, the hive can sort of fend for itself right now. I'm not super duper concerned. Would rather have these mercenaries just around, able to uh, be hired if we start another hive location. Right, that's all the goodies I need. You know, I might as well visit the scrap house as well. I wanted to engineering research for some reason. Let's see. Oh, large building shells was one of them, I think. Uh, let's see. It would be nice to learn the super farming as well, but I think that's the next tech level. Bro, this is a scrap house, right? Oh, here we go. Fog mask would be a cool one. As well. Oh man, this person's just got the one engineering research. Well, sure. That'll work. Oh, here we go. That was quite the little trip. For sure. And Dusty can put Ray down. Ray will join the soldier squad, of course. Ray can pick up some good armor as well. Unfortunately, there is no high vests for Ray. That is fine. I think we should do a quick check to make sure everyone in the soldier squad has goodies, has the proper equipment. Because if they do, then at that point, drone A can shift focus to either more vests or alternatively the chainmail vests. Looks like we got two more sets of high grade rags. Yeah, drone guard C is equipment lacking. Honestly, the Garu probably. Garu 1. Uh, no, nope, Garu 2 can start holding on to the extra junk so we can sell it. How much does this crap sell for? Not much at all. Well, hold on. The, the high grade ones sell for 2k. I think I will go for another quick trip to Flat Sagoon as well. While we're getting the good armor. Uh, how's Raze's weapon crafting? I should check that real quick. Oh, he's fully crafted out all the weapons in the inventory. Well, you, sir, can craft another long cleaver. Another Naginata Katana, or two, and two Naginatas, because we need them. Honestly, I'll make some stabs as well, and then Wakazashis. I trust Dusty to make it to Shark without too much assistance, I say, while he's getting attacked. Well, we can, we can assign gear in a sec. We're going to hit Shark. Sell all this extra junk armor, buy a bunch of hashish, hit the central hive, buy the hashish, then go to Flat Lagoon. And then at that point, we will not need money for a little while, unless I wanted to buy equipment or food or anything like that. Honestly, I'm kind of... I don't know if I even need to run the hashish. Might just sell the armor and call it a day. We bought out all the ancient science books that we can this game, this playthrough, I should say. So other than recruits, there isn't really a ton to 
buy with food? I mean, we can buy some Gohan, I guess. There we go. I just want the armor out of my inventory, basically. Yeah. No, we, we need to shift gears. No more hashish runs for us, unless we need money. It's now the era of armor creation, weapon creation, expanding our territory. I've been mulling it over about which hive we should take on first. I genuinely, as much as I hate to say it, I think it has to be the western hive and not the southern hive. Um, for two reasons. One, I'm pretty sure the western hive, they've got lower stats, which makes them the obvious first target. And two, they have worse equipment, so it's a kind of one-two punch. We'll raid the western hive, and then with that, or with the prisoners we get, we will be able to take on the southern hive, I think, at that point. I really like the idea of getting purple hivers. The other option I could maybe do is make a trip to the south first, just to acquire some purple hivers and then at that point we can make a trip back up to the north to do some real conquering i think that sounds a little bit better to be honest yeah you know what i've successfully convinced myself bandit demands are moving over it's just dust bandits i don't really care we'll march when we've got some armor how good is the... I think uh, Ice is my, like, leading person. So I'm going to compare my vests real quick. So I think Ice will be wearing this one. So this one has less blunt resistance, more cut resistance, with a little bit more efficiency, and more harpoon resistance. So we're talking about... Maybe a 5% difference in cut resistance. Is that worth having? Ugh. I don't know if that's even worth wearing. I mean, like, we have no stomach coverage, pretty much. Other than this crappy vest, right? So any little bit helps, probably. Dexterity loss is kind of huge, though. Especially stacked with the armored rags as well. Oh, I think. I don't know. I think the chainmail is a mistake. <laughs> I don't think we can do it. Prince Guard, you're off this duty. Instead, you're on leather hive vest duty. Drone A. You're still on leather armor duty, or heavy armor duty. We have one more specialist bottom, which, uh, mm, I guess we'll go linearly. Drone G can get it. Uh, how's everyone's inventory? Nards, you need to put the building materials away. Oh, you can't. Didn't I get something else? Something very important? Where is it? It's in Dusty's pockets. Yep, a large building shells. Let's go. There's one more hive building that I've been neglecting to build. So we might as well research it right now. Oh crap, there's no armor plating. Our Prince Guard A, you're now on plate beating duty. Sorry to say. Honestly, we could probably get Oh no, Prince Guard B is <laughs> trapped. What happened? We could probably get Prince Guard B on making some of the junk. Because the thought occurred to me that if I'm not making hashish or using hashish anyways, you know? Oh, uh, the, uh, the dust bandits. Let's go kill them real quick. Jobs! 
come and talk to your friendly neighborhood bandits. I don't want the rest of the hive interfering with this right now. So I'm gonna just shut the doors. Beep's getting his ass kicked. Which is fine. Actually getting a couple strikes in, that's cool. Meanwhile, the rest of the squad is just absolutely destroying the dust bandits in short order. Which is just incredibly nice. Drone G is just absolutely going crazy with it. The windshield wiper tech. Yes, Beep wins! Beep is the strongest warrior! Let's actually go. Beep is the strongest now. There will be changes. All right, we need to rest up the lads before they go on their journey, especially Beep and Ray. Uh, while they sleep, might as well have Garu 2 sort of be the the goodies Garu. Oh, Ray's actually got decent starting stats. Uh, you can get a backpack. This is going to make your combat skills suck completely, but that will just make you stronger quicker. Lead Drone Guard E can get the other wooden backpack. Just want to get these out of the way so that, you know, Garo 2 has space. Garo 2 is going to need, uh, I guess, all the building materials that I can fit. There we go, so... I'll send a little bit back. Don't think there needs to be anything else other than building materials. Oh no, fabrics. Yep, there we go. I'll be Garatu's prerogative. So with the Gohan and the fabrics and everything else we should be able to build buildings and speaking of buildings to mark this momentous occasion i'm gonna save and then build the new building that we got i've never actually seen its interior layout here it is it's... Where should I put this thing? I guess I could go, like, back here, maybe. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. And we sort of just have, like, a nice central... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let us dismantle this building here. And then the hive spire can go in its place. So the spire will be built right here on top of the where that hut was fantastic we have a bunch of materials that are just around for it and even more fabrics for garu too to yoink up uh we might not have enough building materials since i took the majority of them to garu too i can drop some on the ground worst case scenario it's 20 out of 45. There's 18 plus another 8. Mm, we probably have enough. Dude. Oh, I like this building a lot. Raze, you might as well take a little tour. Okay, so this bottom room is pretty okayly sized. It's a little bit tiny, but there's enough room for stuff. We got a balcony where I imagine turrets could be built. Yeah, there's four spots for it. Dude, I really like the spire. There's even a top bit. That's awesome. That'll be a nice little overlooking spire. sort of round out this hive. It's kind of, this this place is kind of like a, I want to say, 
It's like a hive town with normal town sensibilities, which I think is perfect given our circumstances as non-brainwashed hivers. I think that's pretty dope. All right, let's double check everyone's equipment. So drone G is set. Nards needs pants. Boom. Drone guard C needs pants. Also boom. Ice is set. Azola is set. Beep is set. Drone guard is set. Ray is set. There definitely is a lack of hive leather vests. Wait, what? Prince Guard B is still stuck? Come on, bro. Uh, drone Eye. Pick this man up. Well, while that's being managed, we might as well check the weapon situation as well. So, Neon Green. Have 37 strength. Should you be another... I think Neon Green will be another Long Cleaver user. I think that would be cool. Drone G. And, you know, in the spirit of that, you can top your strength off. Drone G, you might as well pick up a Naginata. That does not suck. Oh, all right. Well, that was a lot of busy work, but I think it was, unfortunately, a necessary step in the process. We have gotten everyone in fresh new sets of armor, which is just incredibly nice. And we've got everyone new weapons. Garu 2 has all the food and supplies we need. We're all set up for the expedition south. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Kenshi. Goodbye!